We are blessed to have renowned faculty in the field of ENT and head and neck surgery with us today as part of the Kashmir ENT conclave. I welcome Dr. On behalf of GMC Srinagar, I welcome our guest faculty, Dr. From outside, Dr. Luke. Option is something that we must practice sooner than later. Technology is going to come. Technology is going to change the dynamics of your fields, respective fields, surgery, medicine, gynecology, obstetrics, oncology, you name it and we have it. Modern technologies are changing every single day and I am very certain that all of us will make sure that we do our best to adapt to that technology rather than wait for that technology to get adapted all across the world and then adapt it last. It will be a problem so therefore let us work towards technology adaptation in some departments. I am very confident that in the coming years we should have a vision, we should have a vision of the next 10 years. We must not have a vision of the next one year or two years. We must have a minimum vision of 10 years of what we want our respective departments to be. What does the urology department here want to be? What does the ENT department want to be? What does the medicine and surgery department, or the pediatrics department want to have in terms of advancements, machinery, equipment or whatever. Uh, so this is one important uh, aspect. Uh, humbly request all of you is to make sure that and I'm again very happy that across disciplines, across departments, you're all here. It's not just ENT department which is here. Interdisciplinary learning, interdisciplinary collaboration is extremely important. Interdisciplinary interactions are extremely important. So let us probably think about reviving this concept of the grand round or reviving the mortality meet because we cannot have a situation where we treat the patient in isolation. Let us, I'm sorry I missed out your name, sir to do was we must have a collaborative system of making sure that uh, we deal with patient care and possibly uh, like what is done in the best centers we might replicate that in terms of an interdisciplinary approach or uh, a team of doctors getting together and doing this probably in uh, some of the best institutes in our country which must be discussed in CMAs like this is the literature of medicine and surgery and all other allied subjects keeps changing every day. Up until three years back, we used to give corticosteroids to every expecting mother in the, in the uh, anticipation of lung maturity and so on and so forth. But I had the fortune of reading a paper just recently uh, from the American College of Obstetricians saying therein that there have been longitudinal studies about some kind of a cognitive lag in children who have been given it after 36 weeks. Uh, it was a bit of a shocker where we anticipated that it must be done any which way and here we are, things have changed. So therefore we must probably update it and I would request all the heads of the department, all the body heads of the department because you are some of the best brains that we have in the country I would request you to inculcate that sense of reading, sense of studying in your residents, in your registrars, in your junior faculty members, in everybody who comes in touch with you, so that 
you actually mentor uh, this younger generation of people to study and work hard so as to not become knowledge proof uh, at any point in time in life. These are the few things.